I um I don't like the karma personally. Me too. Really I love karma, much. but not not like that. Yeah. Not like that. Yeah. Let's see now the it's bans. However, removing the magic damage dealers immediately. No wave clear. Uh, not, not the king of wave clear. Not going to be available. Vladimir, I like this ban. They don't have to deal with that. They don't have to counter against that. They don't have to fear that. We talked about the funnel of bans against the top laners, which would starve the top lane pool. Going through the tank um, top lanes instead. So I like this Varus and uh, Ziggs ban as well. This would mean that we're going for the more traditional double marksman route. The Zeri B. Oh my gosh! These are all top lane bans! Yeah, this is exactly the same bans in game number one as well but i'm i'm happy to see that we don't really uh get the uh, the actually i'm i'm fine with the zeri first click um i think there's a lot of options already on the support position um gragas in a, a while ago was prioritized by Cerberus esports and then thunder talk picked up something like a, the kais and then later on the Kali for z that's gonna be the same as well. Oh um, my. <laughs> it's a nightmare to see Z on his favorite champion. And it is. Cerberus Esports, they need to have an answer for this. What I wanna see about, what I wanna check out for Thunder Talk, uh, for, for Cerberus, I want them on a Galio. I really hope they see, uh, I, the, the, one the reason why the Galio is super good on this composition is that it's a good soft counter against an Akali. It's able to taunt if you dash in and then you taunt. You're able to also, despite it being in the shroud, you can also charge your taunt in there, and then it's gonna be an easy reveal onto Z or to Zin, depending where this Akali is gonna go. So I want the Galio <laughs> banned actually on Thunder Talk side, and I want the Cerberus, I want Cerberus to pick the Galio actually. We're so far seeing almost the same picks and bans, fortunately. Uh, finally, there is a bit of a change in the in the pattern, Yasuo gets banned away instead of Big Gwen. It looks like Thunder Talk is not going to be scared at all. Big Gwen being picked up here by Cerberus Esports. They do get the Gragas instead as well of... Oh! Instead, uh... What? Instead of Cerberus Esports. Ooh, Twisted Fate. You talked about this before, Riku. What are your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. I re oh my gosh! Wait a minute. Forget about the Galio. This is a good anti-melee composition. Okay, I, I talked about this yesterday. Remember way, way back when if there is a uh, farming jungler on the opposite side, and that's usually your target, you usually pair your, Kaz your, your Kha'Zix with a global champion. It could be a Galio, it could be a Shen. But either way, it's going to be the same um, trick, which is to make sure that you invade the enemy jungler, or get priority in the mid lane, then uh that then then invade the enemy jungler with their global skill have the twisted fate go alongside with you and make it into a 2v1 this is usually what you want to do if you want to starve the enemy jungler and basically shut down the enemy jungler and as well as get priority and have more global presence in the side lanes i really like this from cerberus they know this is one of their i suppose uh wouldn't really call it their last shot this could go possibly into game five but I love this iteration. I love the biggest the differences in their mm -hmm. approach in the draft. Yeah, I love the Twisted Fate. I love the Yumi pick of See, They have an answer to Z's Akali now because the Destiny will reveal Z on his Akali. Yumi, as a utility support, can help out Genza later on to be able to kite the members of Thunder Talk and through the front line of Cerberus Esports, particularly the Orn and the Kha'Zix, maybe they can find a way to, to provide a platform for Genza to strive. Because Thunder Talk still maintains the usual composition that they have, a, a relatively similar one. The only difference is the Garen, honestly, and the Gragas, but still, they have a lot of initiating tools. They have also that divine, uh, the mass injustice to get that first kill. And that's what I'm worried about, right? Because if you have a Garen on the opposite side, it's also a very good anti-assassin um, anti because of that silence. Um, one thing that I fail to acknowledge, however, aside from the Twisted Fate, I like this. See, this is what I, this is what I exactly mean. Not with the globals just yet, but getting priority in the lane, you starve the jungler of their, um, of their camp. 
This is a lane swap. Mm hmm. Never lane seen it in a while. Counter are actually making uh, really good adjustments as well. They realize that, okay, service esports are gonna invade. It's going to be a lane swap. Let's maximize our push advantage in the bottom lane and start taking third place. It's interesting that because it's gonna be a, a a lane swap, I do feel like the volley bear can just steal the red, um, the red camp at the bottom side of things. But this could be a possible early gank. This is too risky, however, to tower dive a Garen, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, okay, Yumi. So the way that you play Yumi is that there it's similar to a Galio without the globals. You make sure that you have a delivery system in place. And that is going to be that Kha'Zix diving in. I'm a bit worried for Taku, however, because this is a dive. Mm -hmm. Taku going to be flashing away. x by chases him, though. And this should be first blood. It's actually given to Soil, and that's just perfect here for Thunder Talk. That's perfect. They're able to funnel that um, the turret plates as well onto the AD carry of, of Thunder Talk. So this is a different Wild Rift that we're looking at compared to what we've been seeing for the past two days. I like this lane swap. It's so much different than seeing two tanks go at it at each other. And it all boils down who gets first blood, who gets first power. I do feel like bottom uh, Thunder Talk will get first power. However, it's just so much better um, wave clear wise because of the Kai'Sa first skill. And that's why they're able to take this tower down before the top lane of uh, or before the lane swap of cerberus also fast like two minutes in thunder talk secures the first tower service esports struggling on top side so it will take a while and thunder talk already has one objective secured it's gonna help them at least in the initial parts of this game service esports they need to start making picks we, we thought you mentioned this before riku right the the jungle, mid lane, synergy, the invades coming in, the ganks coming in. It's start here for Cerberus. I think so too. I think it will highly depend on BMM um, being able to get priority in lane. Because if you leave the lane to the Akali... Oh, here's the mid and jungle synergy that we're talking about. Gold card? Flash? Yeah, yeah, that's a flash. The too gold far. Card is a little late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one wasn't able to set up for Y1 there. The timing was perfect, but the gold card timing mm -hmm. is not. Um, one thing that I'm looking forward to is around the five minute mark. How they they're a how will they interact as a squad? When I look at it from a five v five perspective, um, I do think they the can. Yumi, yeah, the Yumi and the Orn makes it so strong for Cerberus to actually take five v fives. However. The, the Thunder Talk composition is also good at just exiting the fights because of the explosive cask. So I'm a bit worried for Cerberus if they're able to find the fights that they actually want. Mm -hmm. I'm also nervous for Genza. Even if uh, even if they have the Yumi to cut her out, it's still kind of scary. Now the transition towards stop. There's, oh no. Destiny. BMM still gonna be in trouble. Genza almost got taken out. Fortunately, was able to dash away through the terrain. Thunder Talk unsuccessful in getting kills. They're unsuccessful, but they're also successful at retreating the 3v3. The explosive cast displaces the Yumi ult, which makes the angle awkward. There is a big chance that you press R and you'll probably uh, you tap R or you tap you tap the skill and you're probably not gonna hit anyone because of that displacement. Oh nice! Not nice. XY got it, I feel. Oh wait, no, Genza got Genza. it. Genza! Nice! Okay. That's fancy. They both have blue buffs, <laughs> so I got a bit confused. Mm -hmm. Same, same. <laughs> Good job to Genza. He had, uh, I believe he had vision there. It was hard, but Kami is also just a cherry on top. For sure. Definitely need that um, spam ability and mana region if you want to keep clearing these waves on the middle lane. I'm a bit worried for BMM though. So, so, such a squishy champion. That's warded. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have damage just yet. Again, mm -hmm. the level 5, the strength of a Twisted Fate is the numbers advantage. He's not really there to 1v1 anyone. He's, he does not... Pro he's just a stun bot at the moment. Until when he gets more of his items. Rift Herald has been started, however. Let's see if CS is able to get the fight that they want. He will contest, though. Under oh, cast use... Have, you can use Yumi They have a good success rate on objectives and team fights, and they turn to Cerberus Esports, already taking Genza out. x by goes in with a Stormbringer. Call the Forge God not really helping Cerberus Esports after you lose three. This is quite advantageous for Thunder Talk. Thank 
uh, Cerberus can fight team fights, but their strength lies in getting picks in the side lanes before, first before objectives even mm. spawn. So um, that's the issue there. I, again, I, I mentioned that the Twisted Fate doesn't have enough damage just yet. Kha'Zix doesn't, ha Kha'Zix doesn't have damage just yet. Everybody doesn't have damage at the moment. So in a 5v5 perspective, when there's like three tanks in front of you, it's so difficult to burst someone down if if there's just three b beefy front lines in, um, in, in front. Mm-hmm. They service esports should look for picks before team fight, right? That's, yeah. That's, that's what you mentioned earlier. But the problem is they they're not really finding any picks just yet. They have zero kills on the top secured three just earlier, aside from the the first two that they got in a while ago. Through the RH, they managed to bash in another tower this time in the mid lane to increase oh. their gold lead to five thousand. As we reach towards the seven minute mark and. Dragon hasn't been taken just yet. Cerberus Esports, they have to contest. They can contest. They have to contest. The Twisted Fate can actually teleport and make into a 4v5 if he's in range, but he doesn't have priority, so looks like the Akali can actually go down and make it a 4v5 instead. Oh! Destiny is gonna be used, but only to reveal Cerberus Esports is not successful in taking this dragon for themselves, and slowly but surely, Thundertalk is now grouped up as 5, BMM a little bit late to the party, but it's already over. Thundertalk has celebrated the victory already, securing 4 kills this time. The point of a Twisted Fate, right, is for the ability to make it into a 4v5, but if you don't have priority, Z was able to walk manually from the rip from top to the river and still be able to catch up to that destiny um uh, teleport because the range at this point is not that far you still have to walk z z is like literally right behind bmm so it really removes the uh utility of being able to get to a position first if you're not able to even get uh again that priority in lane to be first on that place yeah, BMM wasn't even able to do anything uh, in that okay. fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was able to escape. Soil has 7.3k. That's 2,000 up from Genza. That's how fed he is. That's a lot. That's a lot of kills already. Oh, XY. Oh, no. He just came back to the lane. And he is already dead once more. With the perfect execution. Why oh, nice. is going to be next? That's good. Captain Drain. Gens oh. as well. That's three kills again. Thunderdog is just partying right now. And it's deja vu. It's like game number one is just happening again. Yeah, after them getting the Rift Herald, because they've already gotten First Blood Tower and all the plates in the world towards Soil in as well as the bottom lane, uh, SMY rather, it, after getting that Rift Herald, it was an easy 5k gold lead and now it ballooned up to 10. The thing about having a Yumi pick is that it's a buy one, take one for free. Kill one, yeah. get the next. And it's so easy to whittle down that number um, after that happens. So honestly, honestly, Thundertalk is doing an amazing job after that lane swap and keeping up with their lead. 703 right now. On to their Kaisa. Wow. And literally, literally, no deaths in Thundertalk. 12 0 right now in this game. No tower, well, no tower secured yet. For Cerberus Esports as well. It has been a an absolutely clean game by Thundertalk. This is why they're just so good. I mean, we already know their capabilities, but they continue to show it every single time as well. Let's see though. SMY with the body slam. Okay. The oh, Destiny nice. as well. Oh Thorn my Bringer. gosh. Oh, that cast is just a hundred percent effective. Isolating everyone from Cerberus Esports. They lost two already. Taku trying to escape. Void Seeker into the follow-up by the rest of Thunder Talk. This is rough. This is tough. This is Thunder Talk just bringing up their A game again on this composition. Oh Whoa. my gosh, the damage from Z. I don't know if he can survive from this. Ooh. Akino can though. Okay, SMY is like, <laughs> is waiting for cooldowns. Like, okay, you don't have to tank the turret for me. I can just dash away from this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even with the emotes there by Z. Yeah, it's oh my. targeted to SMY. It is, it is. Like, huh? You don't need to, like, tag the turret for me. I can just do this. It all started with the SMIs engage over here in the mid lane. While the body slam didn't work out, BMM teleporting in the middle of it all was really putting him on a very tight spot. And Z just destroying that flank in general. Or is, and I think I think the fact that Thundertalk doesn't even need to trade any lives yet whatsoever and still keep going for a 5v5 
is still so painful to watch. It is just Thunder Talk full control right now in the driver's seat. They're the driver, they're the di dictator, they're the controller of this whole game. 12, 13,000 at 11 minutes. I believe I, I've said this line as well. <laughs> uh, or yeah. a similar line earlier in game number one. And Thunder Talk is just even having a cleaner game earlier. Because a while ago, in game number one, the score uh, at the end of the game was actually 6 13. Oh my now, gosh! Just ballooning even more after that amazing cast by SMY. Still no kills for Cerberus Esports. Taku running away alongside with a Yumi, but it's not going to be effective at all. Akeno dying at the very end. Thundertalk all smiles. This game is basically showing us, or like showing me the question from la la yesterday where I said, I miss Enchanters. And then this is like, Exhibit A. This is why Enchanters <laughs> are not played anymore. We don't <laughs> miss it anymore. <laughs> you don't miss it anymore. Don't you miss the Gragas, the Galio? The Alistair oh. in these type of situations. Oh my. Oh. Uh, 20 and 0. 7 and 0. We don't see anything. Any room for opportunities here for serverless esports. That's how clean Thunderdome has been. Oh, oh my. Whoa. BMM. <laughs> Flash away immediately. That's That was a close one. Taku going in. Fight. Oh, my, oh my god. That cast is just perfect. Soil follows up as well. Z go throwing out the shurikens. Perfect execution to the back line. He can just breach all the way as well. Thunder talk. It's not all talk. It's all action here by them. Now TA. Thunder action now um, dubbed by <laughs> Giyang. <laughs> and this is just, again, a total Thunder talk game. We're not talking about 10k gold lead. We're talking about a balloon lead up to 10k at uh, 20k. And an almost perfect game at that. There's no one has dropped uh, uh, a death at all on TT side. So this is how did it all started? How did it all began? Lane swap into getting first blood tower, into getting that dragon, into winning two team fights in a row. After that, they it just spun out of control. They're literally out of control right now. Yeah. Oh. Is that a Hullbreaker? Who, who has a Hullbreaker? Okay, Shen has a Hullbreaker. Here. Oh, Zin. Okay, I thought it was BMM Hullbreaker. I, I don't think no, it's he in, can yeah. escape as well. Oh, SMY says, thank you for doing <laughs> So, ooh, that's a lot of damage that he took. It's Boom. unfazed. Genza, fortunately, was still able to escape. And Thundertalk will just repeat what happened in game number one. A 14 minute victory. I'm not complaining, but I cannot believe that our longest game today is still that era match that went 20 minutes. Yeah! <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not complaining, but. <laughs> it's, it's so interesting to me that that's actually a fact, you know?